Hey, our peeps, welcome in today. I'm excited. We got a little another sports activity. We got baseball today. We are doing a baseball step by step how to do a baseball with a little twist at the end. So stay around for that. Speaking of staying around, hopefully you continue to stay around and check in every week. Every week we got new videos coming out. So make sure to hit that That's subscribe. The easiest way to follow all my videos coming out every single week. Back to our ball for today. We're going to start with a circle right in the middle. You could definitely use a tracer that you could use a tape, you could use a cup, anything that you want, but you know me. I'm just going to try to draw a circle myself. So right in the middle of it, we'll do a circle maybe about the size of our fist. So I'm going to do my little circle hack of doing a C on one side. So kind of a half circle or a C shape. Again, I start out really lightly, hold my pencil back a little bit. And then I'm gonna flip my paper around. And do a C on the other side to kind of shape out the rest of that circle. Once I get an idea for that, I can go over it darker. I think this way works a little bit better just because my natural motion for right-handed to go this way, it feels a little awkward kind of going against this way, so I think it's easier for that. And then I got my circle and then I can go over it a little bit darker. Okay, nice, I got that. Is it perfect? No, it does not have to be perfect. I'm just trying to do the best job. So of course I got a baseball here. Got my little mini baseball here to show off some of the lines on here. It kind of has a curve going one way and a curve going the other way. And then these little dash lines back and forth and back and forth. A curvy line on one side and a curvy line about even on the other side. Make that a little darker. Like that. I'm going to go over this in Sharpie and I'm actually going to wait to do the dash lines with my red. Okay, so I got that nice and quick, but actually I'm going to go away from my Sharpie. And sometimes Sharpies can be a little bit thin and I'm going to use a regular marker, regular washable marker to make it a little bit thicker just to make that outside pop a little bit. All right, so now I got my baseball done. I'm gonna do the red kind of little stitches on there. All right, you guys ready to see it? Bam! There we go, I had so much fun with the background. You make your background whatever you want. I tried to keep the lines of cutting the grass in the background and added the bats and a, a kind of a logo in itself in there. So hopefully you guys had fun with this. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel. We'll talk to you guys later.